Yeah, how, now that we're more than halfway through the season, how have you seen uh, Trey Hendrickson uh, kind of grow um, into the player that he is now? Uh, I've been seeing it for years. It's not the first time. It's just, you know, actually him being out there and getting the opportunity to actually show what he brings to the table. So it's been it's been really huge just uh just seeing him perform at the at the level he's performing right now. Next question from Doug McDonald. Yeah, hey David, do you feel like right now you're playing the best football of your NFL career? I just go out there and play ball. I don't think about I don't think about all of that. Would you say things are, are feeling more comfortable or they're coming to you differently this year? Are you seeing the field differently? I mean, has there been anything that you can feel different about your own game this year? Uh, it's just being in the right position, I would say. You know, uh, I, I go into games with the same mindset and that hasn't changed uh, ever since I first got here. Next question is from Nick Underhill. What, what stands out to you when you see Marcus Davenport play about his power and just his ball rush but when he hits that wall? What stands out about the power and explosiveness to uh, this game? He's got all aspects. He's got the power and he's got the finesse as well. So uh, I think it must have been during training camp or one of the practices where he actually blew one of the tackles out of the window. So uh, it's just actually seeing it, it's, 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 it's special. Next questions from Amos Morales. Yeah, when you're watching film of, of yourself these past few games, is there anything that stands out to you that you've done well or you know, an area maybe that you think, all right, I, I wish I would have done that better? Uh, there's always going to be things to correct. You can never have a perfect game. So uh, go, go, I go into meetings with a mindset to uh, to correct certain things and uh, – that's kind of, that's that's the approach I take towards it. But is there an area that you feel like, all right, well, these last few games I've really been, you know, succeeding at this? I think it's been the same, I guess. Yeah. Next question from Luke Johnson. Hey, David, when when the defense was uh, was maybe not performing up to you alls standards early in the season, was was there still like a, a sense of, of confidence that you guys were going to kind of write that, especially with like some of the situational stuff with red zone, third down, all that, all that stuff? Definitely. Uh, the group we went into training camp with and the way we practiced during training camp, we just had to get back to that level. And, uh, you know, the first couple of weeks were in it, but uh, this last couple of weeks, it's, it's, been, uh, it's been showing. Why do you think that is? I I don't know why. It's just from my point of view, or you know the people you have on defense, and you know what they bring to the table. So I never questioned it. Next one from Nick Underhill. When Drew went out last year, and with them possibly missing some some time now, as a defense last year, did you guys take it as a responsibility to step up, and do you feel that same responsibility now to kind of help out and, and carry some of that load if, if he were to miss time? Uh, every week you gotta step up. There's so we go into it with the approach. Every week you gotta make plays. You gotta you got. If we could play a game where the offense isn't on the field, and if we could keep teams to not scoring points, and you know, that that's that's that's, that's kind of how I see it. Next one's from Brett Martell. Hey, it's kind of an outside football, more like Nigeria question. I was just curious if you'd feel comfortable sharing your thoughts on on. Here you are in America, having an extraordinary football season. But as a young, you know, college-educated Nigerian, when all of this youth movements are going on in your home country against the SARS, I guess, and and all these things. I mean, is it a strange time to be looking at what's going on among people your age at home? No, it, it's not. It's uh, it's about time for uh, for there to be a change back home. Just uh, me growing up there, me seeing everything for it, like in person, uh, it, it's it's going to the point in life where things have to change, and uh, it has to start, you know, with the government and all that back home. Do 
do you, I mean, do you, is, it, is it weird though for you to be over here watching it from afar? Or do you think that that would be something that you would have been involved in or would want to be involved in? Definitely, because, definitely. Because it's, it's a once, I, I, I think about it this way, it's like a once in a lifetime opportunity for us to, to, to actually get, for us to have change be made back home because if not, things are going to remain the same way and yeah. it might take another 100 years or something for, for there to be a change. So definitely, if I was back home, I would definitely be a part of that. Did you ever have any personal experience with police corruption or run-ins of any, you know, or friends? Every, everyone, everyone back home has. Everyone back home has experienced that, so. All right, thank you. Yeah.